Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome back to Damble Updates. Today we have Stick Ranger 2 version 11.5, and this time around we have a brand new weapon dropped by, uh, by once again the, the like, tree in Sky Garden 3 that can poison you. Um, this one they add, uh, this time they add a second weapon for this monster to drop, the Lightning Bolt, which, uh, I really like these rod abilities, though. I'm gonna be honest, I think we might be getting a little too many Thunder-based ones. Like, we have this one, we have, like, these two right here, and now we have, like, <laughs> we have four specifically lightning-elemented, um, rods, which I might be a bit overkill, but whatever. Um, okay. Oh, oh, I can already tell you, this looks like it's gonna be a weapon that, um, wait, I'm looking at the right weapon, right? Okay, <laughs> let's see here. So that increases the damage, and the, like... 50 to 60? I'll upgrade, I guess. Um, so lightning weapons are typically, they hit a lot, and they have, like, um, attack power that goes between one and then just any number, really. Like, they, they can vary a lot in their damage, which is both a strength and a weakness of the weapon. Um, Alright, let's take you up here and see what this thing does. It takes a while to charge up. Uh... Oh my lord. Okay, I like that ability. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. That 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 looks strong. It looks like it just fires a um Let me try this on aerial enemies real quick. Oh, it it doesn't necessarily Okay, so it seems like whatever point you hit the enemy at last, it'll create like this geyser of lightning. That that's a cool like thing to say, by the way, just a geyser of lightning. Wow, that just cuts through bosses, doesn't it? This is a pretty good weapon. I'm assuming the entire like lightning rod does the damage. Dude, if you can find a way to power this weapon up, this can be kind of OP. Um let me Hold on, let me drag you down to the other boss down here. It takes a while to charge up, but you can like charge it up before you Dude, this just melts bosses. <laughs> I really like this weapon. Let me go back real quick. I want to try it on, like, the boss that, like, seems to give players the most trouble right now. I just want to see, like, how good this is against it. I'm not expecting anything too crazy, but I just need to try it. Uh, where are you? Why are you at half health already? Okay. Yeah, even that boss, it, like, it cuts him down pretty quickly. What was the weapon people usually use for this fight again? Wasn't it, um... I think it was one of the gloves? It was the one that, like, made, like, little arcs that you just shot forward at your opponent. This actually does it a little bit quicker, which means if you can, like, sneak ahead a bit, um, and then come back to the stage later, you might have an easier time against this boss. Yeah, and even like hits multiple enemies as well. Wow, this is a really cool weapon. I am thoroughly impressed by this. <laughs> I, f I find it kind of odd that it counts as a rod though. Like it doesn't really, I mean, it is technically long range, but I feel like something like this could be like framed as maybe a glove instead. Like maybe you like threw this little like ball that, or you like, you like threw this little hit that then uh, that then like uh, like just explode on an enemy and then did that effect. I don't know. Making it yet another lightning based rod feels kind of overkill, and I feel and I fear that like having too many weapons of that distinction will just discourage players from trying them all because they like assume they're all the same or something. I don't know, man. Like it's it's a cool weapon though. Well, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.